Hi guys! Today we'll be showing you how to make a creative opening with graphics. That looks like what we put in the opening of this tutorial. If you're into this effect, don't miss out on. Launch the program. Create a new project. First, we need to make these two images with geometric shapes. Let's find the text icon on the toolbar. Click on it. Go to the inspector panel, delete the text content. Then we find this icon. Click on it to locate the background menu. Let's change in the default black background to white. Click on down to apply this color. Then we find the camera icon located on the upper of this window. Click on it. This can generate a white image. Add it to the program. Click on this icon again. Restore the background color to black. After that, Remove the text clip on the subtitle track. Add this white image into the video track and the overlay track by turn. Navigate to the preview window. Here we can drag this box to adjust the size, position, and rotation angle of the selection range. Until we get this, then again, we click on the camera icon to save this image with the geometric shape. Next, we drag the white solid color image into the video track. Open the effects panel on the upper left. Drag the circular mask effect into the effects track. Then we go to the inspector panel to find the properties section. We drag this slider to adjust the size of the radius. Give it caution, we need to make it smaller. Next, we added the gradient. After completing the adjustments, click on this camera icon to take a snapshot of this frame. Last, let's drag these two images into the program. That's all for preparing the images with geometric shapes. Let's add the video and the music we've prepared. Drag them into the video track and audio track by turn. First, let's make some basic edits. Next, we want the changes in the video color to match the changes in the graphics. So we can move the playhead to this point. Click on the Split tool located on the toolbar. This can split the video into two parts. We just need to select the previous half part. Then click on Color to open the color in the Filter panel. Here, we pick this cool filter among a number of other options available here. This is how we make the color change. It's quite easy. Press Apply to confirm. For making the color changes feel more natural, let's open the transition section located on the upper left. Find a feed. Drag it in between its two clips. Adjust the duration. That's it. In the first place, let's find the plus icon located at the very left of the overlay track. Click on it to add a new overlay track. Next, we add these two images we just prepared into the overlay track and the overlay track number one. Resize them simultaneously and make them cover the entire screen. Adjust the duration a little bit. Now, these two images hide the original video. That's fine. We just need to go to the inspector panel, find the compositing section, and apply the darken blend mode for both two images. 
Now the video behind these two images become visible. Next, let's make the dynamic effect. Select the surrounding image in the first place. Click the motion icon on the toolbar. Simply click the zoom in preset. The software will automatically generate keyframes. Let's adjust the duration between the two keyframes to make the zoom in effect feel faster. Then let's click on the first keyframe, resize the selection box, make it not cover the whole screen. Then we get to the second keyframe, adjust the size and the position of the selection box to align it with the white area. This can help us achieve the wanted result. Surely, don't forget to add a keyframe at the last frame. This can help keeping the zoom in state all the time. After editing, we return to the main interface. Go ahead and add a motion to this cross shape. Because I want this cross to rotate at first, so let's add a keyframe to the first frame. Adjust the position and the size of the selection box. Then add another keyframe later. Set the rotation value. This makes the rotate effect. Let's keep moving the playhead backward. Add a keyframe. Make the parameters of this frame very same as the previous one. Then we continue adding keyframes. This time, let's change the rotation volume for making it keep rotating. Adjust the size and the position of the selection box to align it with the white area. This can create a zoom rotate effect. Finally, we add a keyframe to keep the picture in its current state until the end. Let's check the final effect. Alright, that's all for today's tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials of the same or different types and themes, be sure you click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!